morning and welcome to another vlog. I want to start the vlog with a question. Does you, do you consider your week starting on a Monday or do you consider the week to start on a Sunday? I mean, technically, I think the week, I mean, I know the week I went to kindergarten starts Sunday through Saturday, but in my head, I don't know why my nose is running. In my head, I start off on Monday. So it's Monday morning, we're starting the vlog on a Monday. It's a new week, right? Anyway, my week started off spectacularly wonderfully because Michael got up early to do some stuff and he came home and he brought me my favorite treat ever. The gas station French vanilla cappuccino from those machines in the gas station. You know what I'm talking about. There's probably like 3,000 calories in here, so this might be the only thing I eat today. I'm kidding, but it's been a good start to the week so far. Uh, so I just sat down from my computer, gonna catch up on some emails, continue to edit a video you all have seen by now, hopefully, the Nordstrom catalog walkthrough, which is a bear of a video. Fun, fun, fun to edit, but, um, I'm trying to pull up my, there it is, but it's a lot of, uh, manual labor to get this baby delivered to you. I'm not complaining. Um, Part of it, the reason it takes so long is because I get distracted by looking through the catalog. So there's that. So I'm going to get to work and drink my caffeine and I will see you as the day progresses. Hey, I just want to pop on. Um, just getting towards the late afternoon. Got some PR stuff today. Got a whole bunch of stuff from all May. Uh, I just started swatching some of this stuff. These are the most buttery soft shadows uh anyone have any experience with elmay shadows because i really don't have a lot and they sent these wrigley's still growling i don't know if you guys can't remember if that was last week's vlog anyway these glosses shane are you heading out yeah okay shane's heading off to work i just wanted to quickly share not actually pr stuff but um my favorite gluten-free cookie actually it's one of my favorite cookies period i picked them up at trader joe's they're very cheap um Meringues. Vanilla meringue fat free cookies. And yes, I know they're very easy to make at home, but it's really humid, and unless you have perfect weather conditions, they can turn out to be a disaster. So, just they come in other flavors. I'm a vanilla kind of person, um, and I like them very, very much. And also, a new thing that Shane is obsessed with are these Z bars. The chocolate chip are now also gluten free. So I just thought I'd share some gluten-free snack tips. I'm gonna go see Shane off and uh, see you guys later. We are in the drive-through line. There is a combination Dunkin' Donuts and they call it Baskin Robbins. They do. I grew up calling it 31 flavors. Anyone else grow up calling it 31 flavors? I do that, and Shane's like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, we were just running some errands, and it is 100 degrees with the heat index is 102. And we are stopping to get something cold to drink. Uh, I'm getting a vanilla malt. What are you getting? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna get something more like an icy. I think I have. You're just gonna have peanut butter involved. I, think. I don't think so. It's a little too uh, hot for that. I okay. Think so. And Michael is obsessed with this chef named Rick Bayless. I'll be with you in just a moment. All right. Thanks. Is it Rick Bayless? I think so. I don't yeah, think they have malts. Ah, they have no malts. No malt for me. I'll just do a vanilla milkshake. Anyway, so we're gonna do a homemade so salsa recipe. You want a large or small or what? Medium. Medium mid vanilla milkshake. If okay. they ask if they do malt. You wanna do frozen coffee? No. I'm a vanilla kind of girl. I'll ask, but it doesn't look like it. They just have milkshakes. Just note for the record that I gave in to you because we could have gone to Whataburger right over there and gotten them all. Just saying. We got a lot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Bummer. What do you think that culotta is? I don't know what a culotta is. Watermelon culotta sounds good, right? Yeah, could be good. Anyway, I'm over the heat. It's only July 3rd. I'm over it. I want to move to Canada. I'm done. Anyone I've have a room for me? I've got a Nova Scotia in the in summer. In Canada, I'm, I'm packing my bags. Good. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not leaving for political reasons. I'm leaving for climate change. I'm just putting that on there. Over it. Can't, there's like three more months of this. I, I, can, I don't think I can take it. Cabot links and PEI. Just a quick update. They do, in fact, make malts at Basket Robbins. Happy 4th. So we're going to have like 
a chill day home. Shane is out with his friends because he just realized going to senior year that this is probably the last fourth they'll all be together. Some of them are going off to play football in college, so they'll be already gone for summer football training and other people will be doing other things, so he just, it just hit him. So they're all bonding and we were gonna meet friends for dinner and then go watch fireworks, but I don't know if you can catch a good angle. This is what's coming our way. Can you see? It's starting to get very dark very quickly. Rowdy, do you see? Got my red, so like here, okay. That's like normal sky. Not normal sky. It's getting progressively darker. Rowdy's very excited about this. I can't say, I can't complain. We are basically in a drought, so as bummed as I am that fireworks does not look like it's gonna happen, we need the rain so badly. I'm in my red, white, and blue though, like I'm ready, I need to iron, but I was gonna steam it before we went out, but uh, got my blue tassel earrings and my dress barn. I got my red and white dress from dress barn. Got a dog, Wriggles! Wrigley's been hiding. You came out from your cave. Are you gonna go all the way down? Yay! So, I don't know, I'll keep you posted, but looks like I'm changing in a jeans and a sweatshirt maybe. Maybe we'll just go all see it, go see a movie or something. Who knows? It's not awfully hot though. I would really enjoy some rain, just maybe post firework time. Love weather though. As a dog owner though, I kind of don't want fireworks because Rowdy just deeply, deeply hates them. So, oh, forgot kind of the big news. In other news, we just randomly um, checked Shane's um, admission status at the Ole Miss website and then pretended like we didn't see it and said, Shane, maybe you should check see if they've received the uh, documents and everything. Shane got in, he's officially admitted to the University of Mississippi for the freshman class entering fall of 2019. Yay, I have two admitted to the University of Mississippi. Hotty toddy and all that good stuff. Um, it's very exciting. So he submitted his application July 1st and was admitted July 2nd. You gotta love the University of Mississippi. Now the challenge to keep him focused to graduate and get good grades his senior year. Can you imagine? He's already admitted and it's barely July before his senior year. Maybe we should have waited. Oops. So, remember the wind? I don't know if you noticed the wind blowing. So I looked out the front door. I'm trying not to be upset about this, but I'm pretty upset about this. Oh, look, at, look at this. Remember the mountain laurel that half of it fell over and the ice storm we had over the winter? Well, those winds just, you can hear it. Yeah. So that's the end of that. Also, can I get out my front door? It's really sad. This is a beautiful, beautiful mountain laurel. And we got one last spring with her with those beautiful purple flowers. <sighs> just breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. 15 years. I planted that tree myself and it was two feet tall. And it is no more. Oh, my heart is breaking. Change of plans for the 4th of July. It rained. It's still raining. And uh, so everything got... We're good on string cheese. I love string cheese, FYI. Anyway, everything's canceled in the entire city. It's just fine because we really need the rain. But everybody bailed on us. So what do we do when we don't know what to do with ourselves? We go to H-E-B. We do a little date night. This is awesome, actually. <laughs> There's nobody I got here. seaweed salad, which I love. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. and, and watermelon. we got uh, watermelon, largely for Shane. No, it's really Where am I looking at this camera, anyway? That. I feel, like, I feel like a grandpa looking for the freaking camera. <laughs> I don't know what, I'm not in the mood for anything, really. So we're just kind of wondering. Let's see what else uh, there is. I have the stuff in the house. Section, frozen section. See if there's something that's relatively unhealthy but fun. There's dessert. They have a really good key lime, yeah. gluten-free, dairy-free. Yeah. I don't really need that for dinner. That's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, there's like almost nobody here. It's kind of fun. 
don't have anywhere near the selection. Representing Ole Miss with my hat. That was not intentional, just match the sweatshirt I threw on. I'm wearing a sweatshirt in July. This is very exciting. It might be down this area. I want to go check real quick. Sure. And then we'll swing back. We're looking for this cheese wrap thing that they had at the big H E B that it's like a, it's like a tortilla but it's made out of cheese. We're kind of fascinated by this. This is what we do. This is our exciting life. And you know what? I like it. The adventures in gluten-free cooking continue. I did find something I wanted. Uh whenever we used to go to H E B to the grocery store just find a snack. I used to always get chicken pot stickers and I was kind of whining that I couldn't get that anymore. Ha ha! I found chicken pot stickers from Feel Good Foods. Uh, gluten free. With chicken raised without antibiotics inside. Yummy and the, not that that's an issue, but um, I mean it's good, right? And it includes the uh, dipping sauce. So hopefully it tastes good too. I shall pan fry it. And we shall see. I'll check back in later. And the rain is letting up and the morons that live near me are setting off firecrackers, which is dangerous, but luckily because it's been raining, won't burn down our houses, but is scaring my rowdy. So I do not have nice things to say about them. So I'm going to sign off now. If you are not a new subscriber, you know that I feel very strongly about idiots who think it's funny to light off firecrackers in residential areas when it is against the law for very many good reasons. One, because it terrifies um, household pets. Two, because uh, it can burn down your house. We back up to a huge um, undeveloped canyon area that is not accessible by, for, by emergency vehicles. So if it should happen to go into flame, all hundreds of houses will also go up in flames as well, but luckily that's not an issue because it's raining. Hey, Mimi, come on down. Mimi has climbed into the cabinets. Yeah. Okay, what are you making again? Making a little progress ish. Or bimba. Yeah, bimba. Okay. okay, see you after dinner. Just quickly reporting back that the gluten free chicken pot stickers were amazing, quite tasty. Um, and also, I think as long as we have rowdy, which will be hopefully for a very long time, I don't know that I'm ever going to have Fourth of July plans even when the weather holds up, because he is terrified. He is cowering on the couch with Michael. People are already shooting up firecrackers and he has a tiny little shivering ball. So I don't think we could leave him alone on a 4th of July night to go even, to go look at fireworks. So I'm gonna wash my face and put on some jammies and I guess chill with my big, almost 80 pound ball of jelly. Hello! The rain has cleared. We have left the house. We are going to Jim's, which is a Texas staple. It's like a, just like a diner. We're having a late breakfast brunch. We're celebrating a couple of things. One, we got Shane's AP, Shane's AP exam scores back. He got a four on his AP bio and a four on his AP US history exam. So we're celebrating that. And we just got back from his new a uh, gastroenterologist who is amazing. I want him to be my doctor. I don't need a GI, but he was unbelievable. So um, I will list his office info below because if you are in San Antonio and you need a gastroenterologist, he sees kids and adults. He has restored my faith in the healthcare system, the office staff, the nurses, the doctor, just amazing. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside now and I'm gonna go get some breakfast and celebrate with my family. Now I can show you a little better view of the sad, sad tree. Uh, planting season for trees in San Antonio is November. If you want the best chance of it getting a really good root structure formed before the really high heat kicks in and drought kicks in. So uh, we're gonna have dig this guy up today and then uh, kind of wait until late fall. But here's what it looks like right now. This is what we have going on. It's really sad. It's just really, really sad. This is a beautiful, beautiful tree. Now the great debate is do I replant a new version or do something a bit sturdier and shadier and do I put it in the same spot or move it up? These are the great questions we have. It's nighttime here in the Goldberg household. Shane is out having a social life. Michael and I are at home not having a social life. 
I have washed my face. Um, I have my Sicily Rose Cream Mask on. I'm not following directions. I'm going to sleep in it. <sighs> Another thing has bit the dust here at the house. Not just a 15 year old beautiful Mount Laurel, but also my favorite pair of lounge slash pajama pants. Many of you will recognize this from being seen in many, many vlogs over the years. My favorite Ole Miss jogger pajama pants that Michael picked up for me on a trip once to Oxford. Some of you may notice that there is a key part of these missing, namely the entire crotch. Hello! <laughs> there is a crotch missing. Yes! Rowdy got to them. I mean, come on, is nothing sacred? This should just, this is so many levels of wrong. I should not be able to stick my hand through the, okay, yeah, they're going in the garbage. I'm really bummed. Hopefully, we can find another pair. They were just the perfect. I took them on trips. I lounged around the house in them. Why? Okay, it's my fault. I left them on the floor in the closet. And while I was chilling with a few hundred of you on Instagram Live Thursday night, wondering why Rowdy was so quiet, that was why Rowdy was so quiet. He was eating the crotch out of my pants. So gross. Probably have just lost half my subscribers. I've totally grossed you out. Welcome to a very sunny and humid, oh my goodness. We are fogging up, hang on. Are we back? Okay, I just, I need to know this because sometimes I wonder, am I just used to this? Is this just a Texas thing? Do other states have this? Where I live, this is a very normal sight. I think we're fogging up again. Okay, is this normal in other places? Is this a Texas slash Southern thing? Do you see this in other parts of the country? This is called a lifted truck. That's what we call this here. <laughs> or is this just a phenomenon? like a regional thing. Let me know. I'm walking in to get my hair cut. I'm not chopping it or anything. I'm just a little bit of a trim. And of course, we've already had thunderstorms come through this morning. More to come. This always happens when I am getting my hair done. Always. Oh well. We can use the rain, so I'm just gonna shut up and take it. I'm back. Okay, so I did cut a little more than I thought. Michael's having a heart attack. Um, I had two different layers going on. So just to have it grow in more evenly, I had everything cut to one length. There's still a couple layers left right here around the front, but the goal is to have just all one length. Just So that's what's going on. I kind of want to get the hidden crown halo extension thing. I'm gonna see if there's a salon near me in San Antonio that sells them. So I can play with having long hair again when I want it. Anyone have those thoughts? Let me know. All right, we're test driving the Range Rover Millar and we are going off-roading. Oh God, on that. Manufactured off-road. I'm not driving. We have a licensed professional. You guys gotta get licensed. To get I'm not ever off. doing that in this car. Oh dear God. Here's the vehicle angle. Oh yeah. Full-time four-wheel drive. Full -time. If you, if you okay. notice here, why do we even here, like roller coasters? Why are we doing? See, this is your four. This is your all-wheel drive. But when you, when your, the system senses it, it'll lock the center diff and turn it into four-wheel drive on the fly. Okay, okay, great. But it's all sensed by the system. So okay. see, we're okay. going down a hill. But watch with as we go up this sideways. Uh -huh. It's gonna, it'll put it. Watch, see, it locked the center diff because it noticed we immediately were going sideways here. And it's raining. And it just started raining. How cool! Oh dear. Uh -huh. And we're gonna be sideways here. See, now we're back level and it's got all four wheels on the ground and it says, yeah. I don't need to lock the center diff. Regular all-wheel drive works. See, we're at 23 degrees. Does it come with um, bark bags? Uh, I got those and I can get one for the parts department. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, a case of them. I can't imagine someone would willingly do this to their car. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. It's automatic. You don't have to manually change the settings when it goes Oh, from look, we're level again. Road. We're level and we're going to teeter-totter. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you love your job, don't you? It's <laughs> fun. Like children. Look at see two wheels. See them spinning. We're still in comfort mode. We're not even in the off-road mode. So this is just 
Nobody do this as well, or is this just this? All of them do this. All of them will do it. We, we won't let anybody drive anything else on here. Uh, any other brands, I mean, we don't know what would happen. Yeah, see, don't see that? Wheels, these wheels right here, they're off the ground. See how I give it gas and they spin? We just touch down, we teeter tottered all the way forward. Uh, oh, look, pavement. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's 0 to 60 goes fast. Now, that's the part I like. It's quick. You want me to take you around the block? Yeah. Sure, let's do it. All right. What do y'all think? Was that fun? I like I like flat. Flat is good. Flat and fast. Slow in this. Mm, not so much. We're, yeah. We're at our favorite cocktail place. I have my prickly pear margarita. And we're getting our favorite appetizer, which is table side guacamole prepared. Table side, check this out. in the car I'm sitting in, except I don't know how to work anything. How do I do this? Nope. Look at this dashboard. I mean, seriously. There's a lot of things going on here. It's very confusing. I assume once I, if I purchased this car, I would understand how to work it. So basically the deal is, I drive a Navigator, which is huge and great. But Shane's leaving soon, and he's never in the car with us anyway, or like nev almost never. And really, I just need a car big enough to fit Rowdy in the back when we take him to the dog park. That's about it. So it's kind of time to downsize. So I'm looking for like a smaller SUV type crossover. But yeah, anyway. These are first world problems, but it's kind of fun to look at all the different cars and play a little bit. I've always been a little bit of a gearhead. I don't know if any of you knew this about me, but as a little girl, one of my favorite things to do every year growing up in Chicago was going to the um, car show at the McCormick Place Convention Center. So anyway, I like test driving. I like looking at all the cars. I like getting in the cars and smelling the new car scent. So that's what I'm doing. But we're not buying anything today. Also, my entire outfit is all old. Like, this is like five years old. These are old. My pants are old. Everything is old. I do wear things that are old. Okay, we are many hours later. We went up to dinner with Shane. He graced us with his presence. Um, he's not gonna grace you with his presence on camera though. Um, he's just decided to take a back seat to vlogging for a while, which is fine. Rowdy hasn't though, he's right there. Hi Rowdy! Hi Boo! Um, and it has been, Mimi is rubbing herself. That's that weird noise you're hearing and she like, She's rubbing herself on the back, like her back, on the underside of the bed, and she talks to herself. Whatever. Just ignore the moaning. Um, it is rainy and a little stormy, and it's just a perfect night to get cozy. I'm going to read a book, get in bed, and it is, yeah, it's 845. It's a Saturday night. I don't care. That's what I want to do. Babe, do you care? No, ma'am. He does not care. Good. You're good. Are you going to watch golf? Oh. Oh, maybe you could cozy up with me. Oh, yeah, I'll read with you. So that's what we're gonna do. <coughs> Wrigley is ahead of us. Are you all cozy too? Okay, you're cozy. Oh, okay. Extreme dog close up. So that's what we're doing tonight. Somebody's excited. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. In anticipation of doing absolutely nothing worth vlogging, let me say thank you for spending another week with me and putting up with me doing not much of anything of interest. It's a little car shopping. I don't know why we are looking at cars now, but whatever. When Michael gets a bee in his bonnet on something, 
it is just full speed ahead. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel and are just getting into the vlogging with me, I don't lead the most interesting life, but the last few weeks, definitely boring. Like I am bored watching my own vlogs. My life has been incredibly boring the last few weeks. So please stick with it. I promise, well, I can't promise you, but I think in the upcoming weeks, I know actually, they will be more interesting. I'm going to Charleston in a couple weeks. We're going on family vacation a couple weeks after that. Back to school is gonna kick in. Move in with my oldest son at Ole Miss. Football season will start up, which I know so many of you are excited for me to get back to. I'm being facetious there. But so there will be more activity, but between um, my knee, hurting my knee, which sounds like I'm whining, but it really did just completely throw me off my game. I was actually in excruciating pain. I just didn't really let on how bad it, it really hurt. I didn't really leave my house unless I had to for like six weeks. So that threw me the extreme heat. We went from like spring to horribly hot uh, overnight and uh, just a new schedule just kind of threw me for a loop. So my life's been kind of boring and not anything to vlog. So I'm not making excuses. I'm not apologizing, but looking over the vlogs the last few weeks, really boring. So anyway, thank you for still being here. And if you're new, please give me a little bit of a chance. I promise more entertaining stuff to come soon. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.